trying to improve your frame rate is basically dead on arrival because you're never gonna get decent frame rate as long as you have l see big parts of the world. It's just that simple. And uh, my performance was vastly improved when I put the game on a SSD. Yeah, and uh, part of it is because this world, I mean, the, the entire world is so extensive. So, I mean, with you can see all this in the background and all that has to Put load. I mean, I have a 1060, 6 GB card and an SSD. And I think I only have about medium already. settings or stuff like that. I don't get more than 40 FPS. So, basically, trying to get more... Uh, okay. more frame rates in Ghost Recon Wildlands. I've given up on that. We got Tango's Danger Close. Okay, so Tango's Danger Close. Let's not... Uh, introduce ourselves just yet. So let's head off to the story mission and get it started. I like the fact that they have learned from the Splinter Cell mission that uh, they don't have a long introduction, good, that you actually have to go to the place. Because the Splinter Cell mission was really ob obnoxious in that you basically had to do it. Or they basically just decided that no, you are gonna hear the story time about uh, Splinter Cell all over again. Every single time you log in, you're gonna hear that. So I think they've learned from it and just decided that no, it's it starts when you actually go to the person you're supposed to speak to. Oh, right, that's actually one thing I forgot. Um... I actually have Cavera gloves, so we might actually equip those. You're a bit exposed here, man. Nomad. Long time no see, boss. Hope Bolivia is treating you well. It's kept us busy. As long as you're on the clock, we have a new situation I was hoping you could help with. Shoot. Turns out there's more to Bolivia than weapons-grade cocaine. They discovered uranium lurking under all those plants. And they've started mining it. Shit. It gets worse. We have intel that says Russian ultra-nationalists are helping them. In exchange for getting their hands on some of it. That's solid. We have a ghost on the ground there. A sharp new kid who's infiltrated Unidad posing as a Russian agent. Codename Little Brother. Cute. Unidad is sending samples of this uranium to Russia soon. And we need to intercept it. Get in touch with Little Brother. And he'll walk you through the op. Copy that. Okay, so about one click away. Let's get God going. Damn, Mitchell came down to play in Bolivia. <laughs> I hope he didn't get rusty behind that desk. Never happened. Eh, once he's back in a two-way shooting range, it'll come back to him. We're getting the band back together. Since I expect a bit of range work to be done here, I think we're gonna switch to the MP7 as our one of our weapons, and the second weapon will be the G28 sniper rifle. If you know anything about me, then you know that uh, HNK is my way. But I still also want to stick with uh, realistic limitations. So the MP7 is uh, a decent sidearm that can easily be switched. And put on the backpack for that matter. That being said, I have actually tried hanging a MP7 on a Rush 24 backpack. And it's nowhere as easy as this game wants you to think it is. It's kind of why I want some of the ghost mode mechanics in the main game. Because uh, I actually loathe having to run around with two weapons. I mean, it's nice having the option. Little brother, this is Nomad. Oh Christ, please don't call me that. Can it be something just a little bit cooler? What? I don't know, like... Spade. I like Spade. I'm not compromising operational integrity to give you a new code name. If you don't like it, take it up with Griffin. We keep a tight schedule. What's the sit rep? They got this place sealed up tight. Only way in is by Halo. You're gonna have to 
base jump in here from the cliff overhead. What kind of welcome can we expect? I'll clear our landing zone for you. That's the best you're gonna get. Come in frosty and don't bother knocking off your boots. Well, at least they bothered giving this mission. Yeah, I can understand why they basically said, hey, this is gonna be tricky, because I know that place. Media Luna is never a nice place to fight in, because there's always going to be a ton of people there. We ought to be able to find some intel around here. Yeah, it looks like there's actually a medal I haven't picked up. In case you haven't kept tabs on this channel, basically this... This character is my first Wildlands character. I kept her ever since. First character I completed the game with and everything like that. So I kept her around for most of the story missions. And it's kind of interesting to see that there are actually a bunch of stuff I haven't done yet. Thank you, I do know how to base jump, but... Nomad, one more thing. Remember to stay oh, easy. come on! If anyone sees you, the mission's over. You really think we can trust this punk? Griffin vouched for him. Griffin's not parachuting hot into a Unidad base. Sometimes you gotta have a little faith. In God, though, right? And Griffin. Alright. Let's see if I can actually do this on my on my first try. As long as I can get inside on my first try, I should be nice it should be nice and easy. But I would actually prefer if I would also remain undetected on my first try. They said the landing zone would be clear, but that doesn't, it actually doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks like a very non-clear LC with a bunch We're of in. unida. Down. Can't be yeah, thank you for that. However, if just one of those unida had turned their heads, we would have been. Tango on the left. Oh, there was a door right there. God damn it. Glad you all finally made it. We do the job right. Yeah, meanwhile, Unidad loaded the shipment on a helicopter and is just waiting for the word to haul it out of here. Why didn't you just grab the bird and go? Yeah, it's not that simple. They're taking security seriously. They locked down the controls, and the only one who has the code is the chopper's pilot. So we grab him and get the code. Why are we here again? Seems like our little hotshot could have handled this on his own. The code changes every day. How was I supposed to know when you relics were gonna show up? If you'd gotten the code, you could have flown out of here at any point, son. Right? Well, not everyone knows how to fly one of those things. Shit! So there's now a photo mo mode also. I need to check that out at Whoa, some point. what the hell is that? It's an optical camo suit. Reactive camouflage. Since when? This is just a prototype from Skeltech. They asked me to do some field tests. Sign me up for one of those. Maybe yeah, basically, here's a fun little fan theory. You remember that we forked the Predator and basically got our hands on similar technology? What if we handed over the technology from the Predator to our ghost supervisors and that is how Future Soldier got the invisibility? The problem with all this is that in one of the DLCs, Fallen Ghosts, apparently a third-rate PMC had the same fucking technology. So obviously that fan theory goes out the window. Or, you, or uh, Ubisoft basically just retcons the entire thing to fit my narrative. Because I like my idea a lot better than a third-rate PMC having access to that kind of shit. Farewell. 
I got one Unidad's near the helipad, see? Let's hope there's not anyone in the towers. This is not gonna be easy. Okay, so you need that straight ahead, three of them heading in the wrong direction. Or right direction, depending on how you see things. Clear. Keep it going. I think the music is from Future Soldier. I don't know, but if it is, then it's actually kind of nice. Real nice touch. Okay, one tango straight ahead. Let's get him marked. I don't think he has company. You got one on your ass. Got him. Okay, so we need to check where the hell the... Yeah, let's get that. We can't be detected, so that means... Yeah, I think we are gonna find the pilot in here. Tango down. He's gone. He's not here. God damn it. I like how I can't be detected, but my AI companions is basically standing right in the open. Alright, so let's have a look on what kind of area we're actually looking at here. So we got... Yeah, we got a unit at patrol coming this way. We are going to have to be very careful about that. Make sure we do not agitate it in any way, shape, or form. Let's keep it moving. Might have spooked one of them. I hope not. If we did, they might be trying to head this way. Also, Tango in the tower up ahead. Switching to the rifle. Sniper in the tower. He's down. One less to worry about. Not here. It could be in the hospital. Wait. That's the pilot. Yeah, I got him. We'll move through the hospital. Eyes on an unit dead Bad ground. guys in battle. Bad camp entrance. Copy all. Looks like they're feeling froggy. Oh, come on. Camp Let's move inside. We're here for the chopper. Give me the code. Что это? Это пиздец. Let's hope you learned some English. Or you're gonna die wishing you had. Yes, of course. I speak English. I'll tell you the code. All right. So we, now we need to you steal know, the I thing speak without. Russian. I could have interrogated him. You didn't have to be so rough with him. We got what we needed. You worry about getting us that chopper. Let me mark its location for you. Okay, so the helicopter is that way. <sighs> God damn it. 
We got out of that one with. You guys realize the second we're airborne, shit's gonna hit the fan. But we're carrying the uranium. They wouldn't shoot us down, right? Anyone wanna take odds on that bet? I didn't think so. That'd be insane. Close, danger close. Insane would be letting us go. They'd rather get rid of the evidence than risk what we're carrying. Check the other direction. Thankfully, Unidad keeps being stupid as shit. Two hundred meters to target. Tango down. Across the street. That was fucking close. Yes, it was fucking close. Thank you for noticing. Tango's up. Oh, crap. Tango down. Okay, we're still I don't want to have to do this again. I really don't want to have to do this again. I'm not a fan of these kind of levels. I'm the kind of guy... Yeah, I, see, I, I see that guy. Sniper, top of the tower. He's gone. Tango right. You need that destroyed. Wounded dad with submachine gun. He's alone. Check the helipad. Almost there. Okay. Bad guys inbound. Yeah, we need to check which which way. Clear. What about the SAM launchers? They'll blast us out of the sky. We should shut down the generators. Yeah, we should. The problem is that. Um, I have no idea where the hell they are. And trying to do that without being detected is going to be... Oh fuck, we got... We might actually have been detected there. I don't know. No, we were not detected. Danger close, danger close. Copy on danger close. The enemy patrol is by the fuel tank. Please tell me there's not more than one SAM launcher right now, because if it is, I'm gonna have some kind of nervous breakdown. He's gone. Okay, we're still good. Okay, so we need to shut down the generator and not the actual SAM launchers. That's going to be even more interesting. Let's put ourselves in a safer spot and use a drone to locate the actual generator. Oh yeah, it's Can't jammed. God damn it. Jammed. However, the jammer was right over here, so hopefully we can get going to that location and maybe at least shut down the jammer. Okay, we are clear on that. Let's hope we can use the drone and find more. Sorry if I don't keep tabs on chat, by the way. But, but as you might imagine, that is not going to be an easy thing to do while keeping. It is the jammer. I don't actually have a bead on the actual generator. I only have a bead on the SAM system. The, one of the problems is that once we turn off the generator, however, everyone is going to come running. Uh, however, I actually do have the EMP drone, so <coughs> once we actually find the, the generator, if, the, if there even is one, we can use the EMP drone to take it out. But I can also only see one Sam. I don't see multiple. And that is a good thing for us. At the same time, that 
thing does not seem to have a manual disable. So this is going to be... Ah, there it is. So let's do it this way. And... Okay. So it's gone. I was just... Yeah, I can see them. Two patrolmen up ahead. Actually, taking that helicopter is going to be very tricky. Okay, check if there's a gunner in the tower. Heads up, we got a turret. Yeah, we got a turret, but I don't see any actual gunners in it. Go. Out of all the places they could have put this mission, they had to put it in Media Luna. I have flown this canyon before, but back then it was with a plane, and that was actually far easier. Unidentified aircraft. You are not cleared for this sector. Identify yourself immediately. Shit! They're all over us! Is it too early for I told you so? We need to tell them something. Like what? Tell them we're pizza delivery! This ain't Hollywood shithead. Unidentified aircraft. I kind of feel that this part where they're asking for your identification and stuff like that is a bit of a nod to the fact that Unidad is going to shoot you on the site if you are both Unidad and Santa Blanca. But not choppers? How hard can it be? Griffin made the right call. Okay, so let's see what the, they will open fire with, Sam's or... Get back on mission. They must have called on half of you to dad to stop us. Just another day on the job, kid. Hold on tight, this is gonna get messy. The helicopter's proof of what the Russians are up to. We okay, so... Destroy it. Plus we don't want to radiate half of Bolivia. Or ourselves. Let's take these choppers out. Engaging targets. Thank you. He's gone. Oh, come on. That was a lock on. Uh, please, Ubisoft, could your rockets stop bugging? Thank you. Okay, so we need to bring it to the RV, and let's see if we... We lost uh, contact with uh, Unidad forces as well. Nice. Oh crap, there's actually a SAM launcher close by. There might actually be one close to the prison as well, so we need to stay very low here. We're almost there. Please don't let me crash now. It would be so annoying. We're coming in for landing. Coming in for landing. Oh, thank God. I thought we were doomed at least six times there. I counted seven. Good work. Let's check in. The sooner we get away from this radioactive shit, the better. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to agree on that one. Hello. Good work, ghosts. At least we got you away from your desk. With the mosquitoes down here, I'm about to go back. Better the mosquitoes than the office politics. <laughs> you might have something there. 
I need to make a call to the decontamination unit to check on the shipment. Why don't you and your team wait for me inside? So I'm just going to turn on NVIDIA Ansel here for a moment. There we go. And done. So let's see if there's another mission. And uh, yeah, basically we have to get down the hill for that. And of course Mitchell is probably going to beat us to it despite us taking the short route. There we go, and let's enter and see. Andalante lost one of its best weapons when you took out the Comandante. Any dark forces in Media Luna don't know your name. I trust babysitting little brother here didn't give you too much trouble. Oh, can we drop that for anything else? Nomad, let me introduce you to John Kozak. One of the sharpest of our young recruits. Kozak? Oh, you heard of me? Yeah. Just a bit of chatter on the grapevine. All of it good. I'm glad you had your team in place here, Nomad. If the Russians suspect the U.S. of getting involved here, it could make things tense back in Washington. From what I heard at Unidad, there's a power struggle going on inside the Russian government. They don't know what faction they're working with. They just Hold care on. about the color that... Uh-huh. How much? Shit. We have a situation. Another one. Safu. Part of the package you just delivered is missing. What? How much? Enough that we can't just round it off. We need to lay hands on it. Immediately. I hate to say this, sir, but if time's an issue, we should bring Bowman in on this. Make it happen. Bowman, got a situation here. We intercepted a shipment of uranium headed to Russia, but a good chunk of it's gone missing. I need to know what you know. Wait, this is the first I've heard of this. Are we dating other people now? <laughs> the internal ghost <laughs> Family first, I get it. I did hear some scuttlebutt about a shipment Santa Blanca's transferring in a freight train station in Inca Camina. That might be your tango. Thanks, I owe you one. No, I owe you one less. Kozak, head back to that Unidad base and see if you can figure out where that shipment went. Nomad, take your crew to Inca Camina and follow up on that lead. Good by me. Let's see which one of us strikes gold first. Hey, this isn't a game. Stay on your toes and try not to screw things up. <laughs> I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, I keep telling myself I was just as cocky at that age. I don't believe that for a second. He's the best tech I've ever seen. A real wizard. We almost lost him to Skeltech, but lucky enough for us, he wanted to work in the field. One of the youngest ghosts ever. We usually have a little more seasoning. I don't want to question your judgment, sir. I do enough of that for the both of us. That kid there might be as green as a coca leaf, but mark my words, when it comes to soldiers like us, he's the future. If he lives long enough to see it. Alright, so we need to infiltrate and uh, check that thing in Inca Camina. So, let's just go the fast route to Inca Camina. Maybe even switch, have a bit of change of clothes. Sniper out there. Okay, so a lot of shit around here. Snipers, heavies. Ten sided. Enemy patrol. I'm getting in position. 
position. I'm Moving pulled up. Let me get a good sight line. I've got the target. All right, I'm gonna pop the alarm. You guys pop the patrol. The alarms are disabled. That tango done. will be flying in now. Thank you. Let's sweep and clear the snipers. We got him, and thankfully, I do okay, not think he managed to call in backup. Okay, we're still good. Round must have gone right past his head. He knows he's in trouble. Okay, so at least confirm two targets. Sniper's down. Tango knows somebody's got a beat on him. There's a lot of them down there. They know we're here. Be careful. Okay, you guys take out the heavies. Take out the heavies and watch for enemy reinforcements. Take out back up, rolling in. Ready to engage. Lost my time shooting these fuckers. Kills not work. Okay, so they got their reinforcements and yeah, they're coming in from the flank. Their reinforcements are dead, or at least the first wave of them. That's it for them. Move up. Let's bring this close range. I'm moving to position. Let me find a good position. Target marked. Take them out. Moving. Here comes some more of them. More reinforcements inbound. Let's check the computer. Looks like Santa Blanca picked up the shipment a few days ago in Acevedo from someone who goes by 235 Sombras. Who the hell is that? I don't know, but isn't Acevedo near that Media Luna base? Can't go down. Shit, they spotted us. Manager. No reason to wait around. Hello. Time to talk. Start talking or start dying. Ah, no mas, amigo. I'll spill. Santa Blanca took something from the Condor base. What is it? Talk, asshole. Por favor. Jueza is a punishment for the people of Barvechos to teach them a lesson for helping the rebels. Punish them how? What is Jueza? It's a dirty bomb. It will kill everybody. When is it going to go off? When? No say. No say. I do not know. Any time now. Fuck. Yeah, fuck is pretty much an accurate summary of the entire situation. Let's get the hell out of there. Little brother, this is Nomad. We have a situation we need to deal with ASAP. Could you be more specific? Santa Blanca has a dirty bomb and they're gonna blow it in Barvechos. I know. Turns out, you and that captain decided to cash in on the uranium. Smuggled part of the Russian sample out and sold it to Santa Blanca. You're fucking kidding. I wish. I already took care of that you that captain. Cartel is setting up that bomb as we speak. Shit. We have to stop them. I'm headed to Barbados now. I should get there before you. I'll try to disarm the bomb if I can. Hold tight till we get there. We're on our way. Alright, we need to get drive. 
Oh wait, there was actually helicopters here, so let's grab helicopters. Helicopters are much faster. Rebel forces will have to clear this area. We need to get to Barbados. Cartel Sicarios are joining the fight. Ceasefire. Keep an eye out for enemy SAM launchers. We don't want to get shut down en route. Five clicks away. Adjusting heading slightly. Well, something just detonated up ahead. We'll have to get to that location ASAP. Fortunately, Santa Blanca has bought pretty decent helicopters. Have to wonder where, but they're decent enough to do the job at least. Oh crap. Little brother, this is Nomad. We're here. What's your status? Sam sites. I'm in a bad spot. Santa Blanca's everywhere. They've got the bomb blocked off. I could use some help. I'm sending you my location. Hang tight. We're headed to you now. Hurry. I think I can disarm the bomb. But we only have about 10 minutes before it goes off. About 10 minutes. You really want to ballpark a detonation that could kill us all. I won't know anything for sure until I get closer to the bomb. Hurry your asses up. <sighs> okay, let's put a frag on this shit. Frag out. Come mierda, culeros. Thank you. Ah, crap. There's a garrison here we'll have to clean up. Two clicks away, and we are too far away. We'll have to get back to the helicopter. I think the best way to do this is get back into the helicopter, get into an altitude, and then do a parachute jump. That way we can do a bit of a more controlled landing, clear the landing site and get go. But we are on the timer here, so that's going to count against us. I'll pilot. Sorry, rest of the ghosts, you'll just have to teleport up to the helicopter like you always do. It doesn't really help that this is one of the worst parts of the game in terms of system. Basically this part always uh, freezes my system up even with a good card and SSD and stuff like that so. Told you. I really hate Alright, we need to clear the area of Santa Blanca. We got eight minutes. This alpine clothing is not really ap not really as good on this part of the ground, but we can't just remove it now. Yeah, they're onto us. Skip the suppressors and go loud. Oh. 
Yes, I know I failed the solo challenges and I don't really care. Questions. Clear it. Clear so far behind us. In the building, and they got more reinforcements coming. Clear. Kozak. Check out that bomb and see what you can do. Set up a position around it. This thing's a total clusterfuck. It's gonna take me some time. We'll keep Santa Blanca off your back. Get it done. Alright, so we're gonna change our weapon for this one because I get the feeling that's going to be necessary. So let's grab the Yeah, let's grab the 416 and let's grab a short sh super shorty. When it comes to the this thing we are gonna get with a grenade launcher but not that one because that one is ugly oh a pet there we go remove suppressor and stand by to deploy don't these assholes know this thing's about to pop off i don't think these clowns have any clue Thank you. Good show. Called for some rebels to back us up. Copy that. A third team will be right there. We need all the rebel support we can get. This is too dangerous close for the mortars. Inbound. Yeah, we got the heal out. Sniper down, down. They're throwing freaking grenades. Yeah, the grenades are most likely not going to be healthy for us at all. Relocate. So far, so good. We're just simply hunted now, which is an improvement at least. One less bastard to worry about. Fire free. Shit. How much longer, kid? I'm working on it. This is a bit more involved than pulling the trigger. Clear so far. One thirty left on the clock. Incoming car, this way. Car is slightly less incoming now. But I don't know how many grenades we actually got. Oh, fuck no! There's a uni that... There's a sound of like a convoy entering the battle space. It, I hope it just stays away, because if those... Fuckers in the convoy engages, then we are gonna have a bad time. Your lieutenant's running away. 
Yeah, we are not really in a position to give it to you, Kozak. We got them all. Let's check the truck for any loot we might need. Fuck. This wiring is too complicated. There's not enough time to get to it all. So we're all dead. I can delay it, but that's it. Gotta get the hell out of here. We can't just leave all these people to die. We gotta get that bomb out of here. Have you lost your mind? There's no time. I'm not about to let these villagers die. Now move your ass. Food secure. Bowman, I have a hot load of garbage I need to dump. Where's the closest place to get rid of it? I look like Google Maps. People will die. That kind of garbage. Okay, I've got an abandoned quarry not too far away. Shoot me the coordinates, Cortana. <laughs> that reference was actually pretty good. So we need to get this fucker away as quickly as possible, and I mean 30 so seconds. Santa Blanca took them all over in this area. Higher above edge was plotted to match the dick. As far as the miner is concerned, what's the difference between the two? One boss is as bad as another when you trap the mile underground. Nomad, it looks like they built a new ramp that leads into the quarry. I bet if you hit that ramp fast enough, you can jump out and make it. And if I want to survive? Jump off at the right moment and you won't go into the quarry. Time to haul ass. Too damn we actually did it! Holy shit. Let's hope there was no one down there. Good job, ghosts. That one could have been real messy. Glad to see your Bolivian vacation hasn't turned you soft. Glad to see your desk hasn't done the same to you. I'll be in touch. Griffin out. Okay, so we got the optical camo from the for a soldier series now, this is going to be interesting. So, optical camo backpack, John Kozak icon, or Ghost Recon Future Soldier costume. And that would be that. Nice work, old timer. You saved the whole village. Just like a real hero. You could take the next one, kid. I'd be okay with that. I don't know. That was too close. I almost got us all killed. Maybe I'm not cut off of this. Close calls are part of the game. You completed the mission. That's all that matters. Don't worry. There'll be plenty more chances to prove yourself. Alright, so let's equip that backpack and see what it is all about. Ooh, sweet. Now all we need to do is couple this with the... Yeah, that, that is actually kind of nice. So, that's it for the Future Soldier mission for Ghost Recon. A fairly nice mission. Intense and much in the older style of Ghost Recon. So I actually liked it. I liked the Rainbow Six mission more, but that was because I had more connection with the characters. But this was kind of nice too. So I will see you guys later and thanks for sticking with me throughout the stream. Have a good one and bye.